Cause y'all, this is Dez back with another video. You know what I'm saying? All right, in this video, pretty much, I'm gonna be talking about the the football career and the after football career of the football player James Booby Miles. Pretty much, like I say, a lot of people might not know who he is. Like I say, but if you watch the movie Friday Night Lights, then you know that's that's where you know who he is. But Basically, like, I'm going to be talking about, you know what I'm saying, him as a player, then him with his life after football. So, like I say, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. Now, of course, you know, like I said, pretty much everybody knows about the movie Friday Night Lights, you feel me, with Billy Bob Thornton, Derek Luke, and I forget who else is in it. It was another big name star that was in it, but yeah. So, yeah, so, of course, me watching that, you know what I'm saying, I me, mean, I like, don't get me wrong, I like sports movies, period, and... And of course, you know, so my favorite sport is basketball, but also, hey, football, that's like, that's like a, a heavy second, you know what I'm saying? So, so basically, you know what I'm saying? So when I first watched it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I ain't thinking too much of it. It was just like, okay, yeah, I like it. It's a good football movie. But then I think over time, as I kept watching, I kept watching, I was like, wow. So then, of course, they, it was, it was somewhat focused on the character Booby Miles, but I was just like, then I remember at the beginning, it said based on a true story. So I was like, oh, so. So I think maybe we're back in 2000, 2016. Yeah, that's when I, I think I watched it or whatever. And then I don't know, just some just after after me watching it, I was like, you know, I said I need to look this guy up. So I was like, what? Cause I need to figure out like what what went wrong, like what happened with him or whatever. So so yeah, when I looked it up, man, of course, like I say, it was like of course it was a lot of discrepancies in the movie. You know what I'm saying? Cause the first one was, cause I ain't gonna lie, the first. The first one was basically, uh, you know what I'm saying, he was he was number 45 in the movie, but on in real life, he was number 35, and Chris Comer, his backup, that became, you know what I'm saying, the starter, he was actually number 45, but in the movie, they made him number 42, so I was like, oh, so that was a big discrepancy or whatever, but I seen, it was on YouTube, I seen like a little, a few highlights or whatever, hey, hang a lot, hey, he, it, it wasn't, like, in the movie, like, it was accurate, like, he was, like I say, one of the past dudes, like, he was, he was that guy, so... But then, um, then another discrepancy was, okay, about when he got hurt. They were saying, like, yeah, on the movie, it said he had got hurt during the game. And then, but in reality, like, he even said in the interview, he was like, yeah, he actually got hurt in the scrimmage, you know what I'm saying, because he tore his ACL. But he said what happened was his, uh, his cleat had got caught in a little turf they used to uh, play on. So he said once that happened, then I think he, I think he either got hit or he just turned a certain way. And you know what I'm saying, towards ACL, so I was like, mm. So but um but even like in the movie he said the part where they say he tried to come back and then he got hurt again, he said that never happened because I ain't gonna lie, I was looking for that <laughs> I was searching for that hard on YouTube. Like I was like but like <laughs> like I don't know, it's just like some stuff it's just like it may be gruesome to some people, but sometimes me I just be like, but I gotta see it. I gotta see it, you feel me? So but once I seen that or whatever, so I was like, ah but, but of course, like I said, it never happened. And then, um, right afterwards, you know what I'm saying, he was saying, like, pretty much they ain't let him play. They ain't let him play at all or whatever. Which, it, let's say, it made, because in the movie that he was making, like, after he got hurt the second time, that's when, you know, he broke down in the car with his uncle, and he was like, they won't let him play or whatever. But then, like, that part was, like, semi-true, because he said, yeah, afterwards, he said, what happened was, he said, the coaches wanted him to not get surgery and get, like, a brace and come back, but he was like, no. So... I think he said he either opted to get the surgery or he decided not to get the surgery. But he said he wasn't going to, like, be, like, playing hard as he would, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew he had a toy, toy and they said, yeah. So, it's like, okay. So, then, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm even knowing, from, like, me me being a, a, uh, a former athlete, like, I know. Like, some coaches, like, they don't, they, like, say they don't give a damn, like, about you personally or, like, say, if you get hurt or not. All they care about is, okay, if you if you are healthy, yeah, of course, they're going to put you out there. But then if you ain't healthy, it's like... I mean, it's, it's pretty much like, because it's like almost it's like, you know, so they look down on the other team. It's just like, okay. Because me, as a, if I was a coach, I'd be like, yeah, okay, if you hurt, okay, yeah, don't risk it at all. No, nah. it's just next man up, and then once you get back healthy, whatever, then I'm going to eventually work you back into the rotation. I ain't just going to throw you back out there because, you know, you still got to gain your rhythm and everything. So he said basically they didn't want him to do that. He was like, we teach it right then. He was like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, like I'm not hurt my, I'm not going to hurt myself worse or whatever. So, so he uh, so right there he said basically yeah they just stopped. It's like it's almost like they just wiped them, just wiped them off, off the team. It was almost like it was no, I ain't gonna say it was no history of him being on the team, but it was just like the way they had it. It was just like yeah he, they just <laughs> just stopped 
dealing with him after that. It was just all about Chris Coma all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? So that's just crazy. But then also was like I remember in the interview he said he was like you know what I'm saying? He of course he I think the interviewer asked him like did they get paid, you know what I'm saying, as players or whatever. He said, Yeah, because he said what happened was he said he said, you know what I'm saying, whatever how many other yards he gained that game or whatever, he said it'd be of course it'd be on a Friday night game, but then come I think Monday he said when it's practice, you know what I'm saying, he opened his locker. He got like an envelope full of cash and it'd be however amount of like I said, however amount of yards he had, like it'll be basically that much or whatever. He said the first one he said he ain't really pay too much attention to it. He said he ain't never like really mess with the envelope. But he think, but then he said after the second game, he said he opened his locker and he saw the same thing. So he's like, uh huh. So but of course he like he said, yeah, all that stopped the when, you know what I'm saying, he stopped playing and everything. So I was like, yeah, I mean that's yeah, this that's this thing. This is what coaches like, yeah, see when when they own like when you playing good and they winning, oh yeah, they gonna love you. But as soon as you hurt and you can't do nothing for them, oh you out the door, you feel me? So But that I don't know. But then like I said, he um crazy boy, like I say I know he said he had all, like a lot of offers and everything, but he said once he which is it's you know, so once he got hurt, you know, so like, all them offers like they went out the door, you feel me? Which is like uh, it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, cause because also, like, in college, you know what I'm saying, school, they they trying to win, too, or whatever. So, they feel like, well, because they ain't going to get to the point where they're going to eventually, like, they're going to be willing to give you a chance, you know what I'm saying, or give you an opportunity. Like, nah, because they trying to win. Because I, I had to figure that out, too, because I was like, you know what I'm saying, coaches, they just want, they just care about just winning or whatever. But also, a coach has to win to keep their job, like, literally. Like, as soon as you're not winning, oh, yeah, you out the door, you feel me? So, but... But I think, yeah, I think eventually he said he had got, um, I think he went to, like, a community college. I think he played for, like, a year or whatever. But he said, I mean, he said by then, he said he had just, he was playing and everything. But he said by then, he had just, like, lost lost the love, like, lost his love for the game of football, you feel me? Which, you know, that happens. Especially, like, say, if you get, like, a, a big injury like that, like an ACL or something like that, yeah, like, your injury is just going to go down because it's just, like, it's, I don't know, it's just being injured, period. Like, that's just, uh, that's just a depressing that's just a depressing moment, man. It's just, uh, it's, I've been through it personally. I've been through it, so. But I think over time, you know, I think I think in the interview he said he had a couple of kids and everything. And, of course, he had his one in with the law. You know, say, nobody's perfect, you feel me? But, um, like I said, I mean, it seems like, you know what I'm saying? It seems like he doing all right for himself, you feel me? Like I so said, I know he was working jobs and everything. You know, hey, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, you feel me? But, uh, but like I say, it seems like he, yeah, he doing, hey, he doing good, you feel me? So, to just, you know, so sometimes that's just like, that's just how life handed to you, you feel me? But I was just like, as watching the movie, I was just like, dang, because it's just like, so I had to like, that's what made me kind of like, I had to look up the information on him. It's just like, wait, something, I'm like, how do, like, how nobody really was willing to get this man a chance or whatever, but, like, but as he said it, though, because in, in, in the interview, like, so he was straight raw and uncut, like, he was just, <laughs> He was spilling everything, you feel me? Because he even said about the coach. I forgot what the coach name is, but he said, he said he ain't really no good coach. You know what I'm saying? You just got good talent, you feel me? Which I'm like, yeah, that's what anything. Like I said, you could be a coach or uh, you could be a manager at a certain place and you could be a, like a like a terrible manager, but at the same time, hey, if you got good workers, like, you know what I'm saying? That's how you can, you know what I'm saying? That's, that could cover up you being a bad manager or being a bad coach. So, Because he said, like, right afterwards, he said, you see, he was like, yeah, you see, he ain't won nothing since. I was like, mm. He had a point on that one. I'm like, yeah. That's just kind of like, uh, I lose, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? But I was just like, you know what I'm saying? As a coach, it's like, but, I mean, if you got LeBron James, you're bound to win. I'm just saying. Or if you got, like, any good player, you're bound to win. But he's definitely a good coach. My personal favorite, the Doc Rivers. Like, you know what I'm saying? You see, ever since the Big Three in Boston, he ain't even, like, he ain't even got to the final. So it's like, mm. So that just like, you know what I'm saying, hey, that just shows it right there, you feel me? Just, like, I think Big Baby said, he said, yeah. Like, say, yeah, you had Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnet, and Rihanna, like, mm, who's not gonna win with them, you know? But, but um, but then I ain't know, like, in the movie, like, he, um, he had a couple of cameos, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't, like, booby my himself. He was just playing, like, a, I think, an assistant coach, assistant coach or whatever, but, but once, you know what I'm saying, I think it, like on the, on Derek Luke's character, which was moving miles, you know what I'm saying? I remember they zoomed in. And I remember looking, I was like, I said, dude, standing next to him looking, look just like moving miles. But then, 
That's when I seen like in the end credits and they was like, yeah, that was that was him. I was like, oh, I know. Like, okay, that's a nice way to you know what I'm saying make a. You know what I'm saying? Give homage to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they still living. It's like, yeah, put them in a movie. Just, like, have them play, like, a cameo role or something. You feel me? But, um... Uh, and then, that, like I say, I mean... Like I say, after he went down, then Chris Coleman came in, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he did this thing, you feel me? The only thing, now, nah, on the movie... <laughs> I ain't lying on the movie. They, they made that man look just like... He just like a rookie. Like, he ain't know what the hell he was doing. Kind of on the scene, he was like... <laughs> the coach told him to go in, he was like... He was like, where you going? He's like, I'm going there. He was like, you don't want a helmet, dude. was like, <laughs> I was like, dang, man, but nah. But like I said, he came, like, in real life, he came in and did this thing, and you know what I'm saying? I think the year after Boom Miles, I think he had graduated. That's when, you know what I'm saying, they won the state championships. So I was like, wow. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that's just a, I ain't gonna say it's a sad story. It was just like, it's just, it just, it just effed up how, how they did him, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? All because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got hurt and everything. All because he ain't want to come back early. You know what I'm saying? Mess up his, you know what I'm saying? Knee even more, you feel me? But, but of course, in the movie, I, that's why I'm guessing, like, probably in the movie, that's why everybody made it, like, oh, he came back, he got hurt again. And just, like, I think, I, see, me personally, I think that was a way to, for them to throw shade at him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, since you ain't want to come back, well, we're going to portray, we're going to depict you in this movie this same way, or whatever, which is, like, you know, but, um, but for like the other players, like I say, the other players, they, you know, they went off and of did their things or whatever. But like I say, none of them went to, you know what I'm saying, went to the NFL or even tried to go to the NFL. You feel me? Which, you know what I'm saying, it's probably like, because like, they probably got to college and then they seen how much it was. I was just like, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to play football anymore. You know what I'm saying, that's normal, you feel me? But, but uh, I remember the, uh, the team they played in, I think in the championship game, it was, um, it was when they caught a high school or whatever. I remember they did, they had like another documentary, which was basically, I ain't know like all the players, like a lot of the players that went to jail for committing like robberies or whatever. I was like, oh my God. Cause you know, I think the documentary on uh, what caught a loss or something like that. And I seen it, I was like, dang, so wow. <laughs> it's, yeah. But like I said, overall, like I said, yeah, that, that's, that's my take on it, you feel me? Like I said, it ain't nothing major. Cause like I say, I can see now he ain't really tripping over it, you feel me? He, he like I said, he just, Moving on, he's living life, you feel me? But at the same time, like, he gonna give you the truth, though. He ain't about to give you no BS, you feel me? Which I like that. Like I said, the interview I saw, both of them, yeah, they, both of them raw and up cut. Like I said, he had this, I don't know if it was a, I don't know if it was a blunt or black and mild, but yeah, <laughs> I thought well, he smoking that too. I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. He been himself, he been real. I said, that's what's up, though. But yeah, like I said, that's my uh, take on, you know what I'm saying, moving miles, like I said. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'm down with it regards, you know what I'm saying? Also, feel free to share the video, you know what I'm saying, to whomever, you feel me? So, but like I said, to my next video, y'all know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute.